Hello viewer, my name is Tabitha Gunjiri. I'm going to take you through the chemical processing. One of the chemical processing that I'm going to take you through is the hand wash. And before you start processing or any chemical processing, you have to have your gear on because with chemical, some of them are corrosive. Therefore, you must have the correct gear on. What I mean by the correct gear is you have the gloves on, you have the dust coat, and you can also have the mouth mask. As I said, some of them are corrosive. But for the ones that you're going to do today, they are not corrosive. Because I said we are going to make the hand wash. Now, these are some of the things that we are going to use when making the hand wash. I have the materials with me here. I have the ungaro. I have the industrial salt, CDE, color, perfume. We also have the water, which is the solvent. I have a stirring stick. When using the chemicals, make sure that you use a wooden stick and of course the plastic containers. I'm going to make five liters of hand wash. So I get the five liters I measure five liters of hand wash. Then I dissolve the ungaro. Ungaro is for making the foam. So you dissolve in the Ungaro is slippery, as you can see. Then you can dissolve this ungaro using a wooden stick. But there is no harm if you can use your hands. Because this ungaro is not corrosive. The ungaro is not corrosive. So you can start using a wooden stick until all the ungaro has dissolved. After you have dissolved all the ungaro in water, 
then you add the CDE. and stop. CDE does not take long to dissolve. Then you put in the perfume. We have different types of perfume. We have what we call the baby bath. We have the lemon, lavender. You have the eucalyptus. You have different types of perfume. Then you put the perfume and stir. You also put the color. the color and then start. Make sure that the color has all dissolved. So you continue stirring until you find there are no particles, color particles. And if you want to check whether there are color particles, you get a clear container and then you check. The particles are still there. So, you continue stirring. Just a few particles remaining. Continue checking. So there are no particles. Lastly, you put in the salt. Excess salt will spoil your hand wash. So you have to put just little by little and stand and get the right thickness that you want. You stir until all the 
salt the salt. I want to check whether that the, the thickness is what you want, you get a container and then try and pour and see whether it will just pour like water. Just to run. Run, run, run. Like so. So this is the right thickness. Thank you very much, viewers, for watching.